Nagoya, Nagoya. Here in Aichi 019. Oh my god, you guys. It's it's getting down to the wire here. This is our final month in Japan. It's been a long and Exciting road. There's been many. Hey, look, it's One Piece. Oh, yeah, Sakura. There's been many adventures, many curves, many twists and turns, many potholes, but also much beauty, much inspiration. Boss. It's been a good time, I'd say. I got to know these streets very well in my time here in Nagoya. I got to experience the city life and contrast and compare that to the country life. I've got to see Okamas, both foreign and native. I've got to see many things, eat many foods, talk to many people. Oh no, I take that one back. I haven't talked to many people experience is, is really all we've got in life and this experience overseas has been one of the most memorable of my life and I'm gonna miss it I hope to one day return maybe not to live but just to experience it again come back you know, re rekindle an old flame with a love that is geographical in nature. I never thought it would happen. I never thought I'd be one day living here, but it happened. It happened. Here I am, here I stand, here I walk down the streets of Nagoya on this lovely gray, rainy day. You see everyone with the umbrellas out, but not I. I don't mind the rain. We no care. We no scare. There's been many happenings in the past year, all starting with what appeared at first to be a terrible occurrence, an injury for the first time in life, one that placed us on a surgical table the day I was supposed to be instead sitting on a coach seat on a plane to come to this very country. That did not happen. Let's walk down here. But many other great things did happen. I made a lot of new friends. Plans changed for the better. It resulted in my sooner move to Japan. I set everything else aside. I left my job. I sold possessions. I walked away from all that to try something new. And I can honestly say I don't regret it. I can honestly say it's been worth it. At the same time, I am excited for my return to the States. For if there's one thing that living in a foreign country has taught me, it's that I am American. I am a Michigander. And I'm more proud of it now than I ever have been before. I've been able to experience the stigma of being a foreigner. To be looked at differently than everybody else. To be treated differently than other people. Just because of the color of my skin or the look of my eyes. I have experienced that now and it's opened my eyes to many things. I'm grateful. I'm 100% grateful for everything that's happened in the past year. I'm grateful for everyone who's been following along with the adventures. I'm grateful to everybody who likes to watch me play the vitters and are happy when I keep them smoking vitters coming. I'm happy to be streaming. I'm happy to have 
secretly trained in the mountains of Japan and hone my martial art and hone my twiddling of my thumbs right here across the street you can see my apartment building it's that tall gray one right across from a Japanese Denny's and a lesson studio, a music class. Very cool. But that's the apartment building right there. Da, 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 da. That's where I've been and where I will continue to be for one more month until I start anew once again back in Michigan with a place of my own for a change where I can be more independent than ever before. I look forward to it. I look forward to interacting with you all much more in the years to come. I look forward to the rest of what life has to offer. I'm one that enjoys my time here on Earth and I'm glad that I got to see more of it on the other side of this planet we call home. I wish you all the best, good fortune, good luck, and Godspeed. This is 019, oh my god, covering wars and signing off. Y'all take care.